right, number 20 then. Let's try 20, see if this is going to be a little um, better. Okay, um, so on 20 it says, in the setting in exercise 19, let theta be the angle that the line through the radar station and the plane make with the horizontal. Um, how fast is theta changing 12 minutes after the plane passes over the radar station? Okay, so the line through the radar station and the plane make with the horizontal. All right, so um, you have your plane. So here's your radar station. Here's your plane. This is still six kilometers. And then, all right, so I think they're talking about, so then, you know, the plane's moving forward. So here it is now here. And they're saying, let theta be the angle that the line through the radar station in the plane makes with the horizontal. So I want to call it this angle right here, theta. How fast is theta changing 12 minutes after the plane passes over the radar station? So this is still going to be 6 kilometers. Um, now 12 minutes have passed, which is going to be um, 12 minutes. which is what portion of an hour. So you're going to do one hour over 60 minutes. So 12 sixtieths of an hour, which is one fifth, right? And um, that's your time. Let's talk about, let's call this distance x. We still have dx dt is 800 kilometers per hour. Okay, and so does anybody have a relationship, any angle, something dealing with maybe x and the 6 and the theta? Yeah, so we could say that the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, so 6 over x. And so what's the derivative of tangent? Okay, so this is secant squared theta d theta dt is equal to, all right, the derivative of 6 over x is going to be negative 6x to the 2 times dx dt, because you think of that as x to the negative 1, so the negative 1 comes in. All right, and so now um, we have everything that, oh, let's see, we need to get theta. All right, when um, t equals 12 minutes, or when t equals one-fifth of an hour, theta is going to equal, um, well, let's get x first. x will equal the rate times the time, which in this case the rate was 800 kilometers per hour. times the time, which is one-fifth of an hour. So 5 goes into 800, how many? Uh, 1 and then 60, 160? Okay, so the tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, so 6 over 160. So this will be that theta will equal the inverse tangent of 6 over 160. And so that is what you will plug in for for theta. So coming in through for this formula, you're going to have secant, or can I solve that? Do you guys see I could solve that for d theta dt? 
it will be equal to negative 6 over x squared times dx dt divided by what? Secant squared theta, right? Okay, and so now we can plug in all our different parts. So d theta dt is equal to negative 6. What do we find x to be? 160 squared times dx dt, which is the um, 800 kilometers per hour. And then, I guess you can do this, kilometers per hour. And this is kilometers. And then we're going to divide that by <coughs> secant squared, which is going to be the secant of the inverse tangent of 6 over 160 and then you'll square that. And really actually it probably would have been easier to just go ahead and figure out the secant, wouldn't it, instead of doing the inverse tangent. The secant, what is the secant? I don't know if it's easier. Where was my picture? I didn't draw it. So this angle is uh, theta. This is 160. This is 6. Can y'all tell me the secant? This is going to be the square root of 6 squared plus 160 squared. So the secant is what? What's the secant? Yeah, secant is 1 over the cosine. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's hypotenuse over adjacent. So it would be the square root of 60 squared plus 160 squared divided by 160. Maybe that would have been easier to plug in instead of this. It's, does that feel weird to y'all? This is actually that if you did it. But, so you could have typed in that. Do this first. Let's see. And that'll be the rate of change of the angle. Um, so we can just type this in. So I'll do my numerator negative 6 times 800 divided by 160. Um, 160 squared. Divided by the denominator, which is the square root of 6 squared plus 160 squared divided by 160 and then squared. It's kind of fun because 160 is cancel if you were doing it by hand. So negative uh, 0.187 is your answer there. Okay. And I guess this would be a radian. Okay, uh, do we have another question?